Hello Cancer, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at general energies for career, money and finance for the next two months, for April and May 2022. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as I do daily, weekly and monthly readings. And if this is your sun sign, have you considered to check out your moon and rising one for more information? Right, Cancer, what do we have for you? I'm going to make it nice and straight so we can see. Alrighty. Seems good to me. I'm going to take the last three from the bottom. I'm going to clarify them later on. All right, Cancer. For the April, Seven of Cups. So, not everything is gold that shines and that it includes people. Okay. This suddenly stirred me came to me not just decisions but people so is there someone around you that is you are not really sure about okay they offer things that are too good to be true and they more likely are and it feels like yeah you are not sure and you look at it and you're like one day you kind of believe them another day you don't and this is kind of like, there's a kind of sway of situation that you want to take. But this undecisiveness is kind of really throwing you off. So in the past, we have Five of Cups. So Five of Cups talks about learning to look at the bright side. Even though at the moment, you don't feel that way. But look, there's a Three Cups spilt. But there's another two here. There's still water there. You can refill them and go ahead. No time to cry. Okay, give yourself two minutes to cry and move on, okay? Because we have chariot right next to it. And chariot's not going to dry your tears. Chariot says, get your get your stuff together, refill them, and move on. Because there's a time to move on, okay? There's no time to um, mess around. And chariot is right on the bottom. It's going to say, you have free will. Okay, you can stay there by the riverside and cry about it. Or you can take your stuff together and go and go you will cancer and not backwards but forwards okay and don't let influence yourself by someone here even though it's not always easy to do we have eight of pentacles and definitely there's gonna be you kind of have to you will come to kind of realization are you talking me nonsense are you telling me lies and you will, with the Ace of Pentacles, definitely that realization going to come to you. Because there is going to be new opportunity. Look how the world is giving you. Yeah, yeah, Cancer. Here is a new start. And it's a really grounded start. It's not just not just um, lies, not just the dreams or daydreams. Oh, it would be great. And this real stuff. Okay. So this is brilliant card. It's like really shaking you up. Go for it. <laughs> four of Cups. Right, so Four of Cups. Sometimes they, you know, people want to look at it as negative, but there's a lot of positives in Four of Cups. So you have achieved three cups filled with water, okay, or whatever that is. And you feel you want to cross your hands and sit by the tree. Nothing wrong with that. But the point is not to do that for too long because we have the universe giving, yeah, Cancer, there's another one. And here we have as well. And just give yourself a time, right? Don't rush into it, but don't procrastinate. Okay, there's a time to work and time to play. And everything well in balance, right? So definitely sit under the tree for two minutes. And then get up, get that cup, get that going and go for it. And this is kind of really, and don't be harsh, okay? You need two minutes to sit down. That's absolutely fine. But don't dwell on things. Please don't dwell on things. Move on. Today's a new day and you start a new start. End of, okay? We have a judgment card there. And that's what it actually talks about here as well. Don't be harsh on yourself. Everyone else can be, but not you. Do not be harsh to yourself. Set yourself free. Set yourself free of the past regrets, past bad energies, and go. As we have the sun right next to it. It's kind of really asking you to be kind 
Look at what you can do. What is your general? Where are you at? Are you safe? Are you fed? And move from there. Okay. All right. We have a wheel of fortune and three of pentacles. So wheel of fortune, I always look what is next to wheel of fortune. So there's going to be kind of new crafts coming in or some sort of new area you might want to work. Could be job offer. That could be quite different than you are doing currently. Because you are um, becoming a master, you can learn a few new things. And you might probably teach someone else those things, okay? So you might actually turn from a craftsman yourself into a teacher, okay? So Wheel of Fortune is definitely going to turn these. You take those cups and cone and you go for it. And it's as soon as you grab them, the universe is like, haha. Can't I grab that one? I'm going to offer more doors. There's more to do. And to not to stop yourself by being harsh on yourself and question. If someone trusts it, yes, I believe that you can do it. Don't start to question yourself. All right? As we have the sun here. And the sun is shining upon you. As always, I, when I see the sun, it always highlights the whole reading. Of course, too much sun is not too good. But this is victorious and we have ace ones right next to it. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, don't be, don't feel you're going to get burnt. It is victorious and it's actually bringing the best out of you. Okay, so definitely this feels like the situation. You're going to actually mold yourself into something new probably or slightly be different in a new kind of role. And you're going to like it and it feels like going to bring the best out of you, the best sun, the best qualities out of you as we have the ace of wands here and that talks about passion and that talks about creativity about talents as well you know so you might discover a new talent that you never knew you never maybe you maybe didn't know how to talk to people on the phone maybe or talk to people on the group and you're going to discover that you actually like to do so okay so which is interesting and so so this is definitely kind of like Overcoming your shadows, okay? And coming from the shadows to the light. And the message is, don't be harsh on yourself. You need two minutes, take two minutes. But no longer. Get up and go. Don't Please don't procrastinate. And don't doubt yourself. As we have seven ones, king of ones, ten of ones. Wow, lots of ones here. A lot of passion. A lot of feistiness, kind of way. Seven of ones feels sometimes that... That could be could be actually even yourself, that you are up against yourself, okay, and once you drop that, you take whatever is needed and you go, because there's nothing to fear. Don't doubt yourself. Why would you doubt yourself? We have King of Wands next to it. King of Wands knows how to take the idea and bring it to the next level, okay, and that is a person or a situation that is very. Really talented super super talented and they're passionate and they as i said they know how to take the idea and finish it and start new ones and it's really kind of it could be actually kind of creative artistic kind of feel here so it is sometimes in those areas we are really um judging ourselves we're judging our talent am i good enough um but anyways it could be that those, whatever you're working at, requires particular qualities, okay? And you might feel that you are not fit to those qualities, to the, the, but don't. Ten of Wands here. You have life experience. And you know how to deliver. You know how to take on a lot of jobs and bring to the end. Even though it might feel hard maybe putting a lot of work in, but you definitely know how to work really hard. I'm going to quickly clarify. Wow, page of wands as well. Wow. So it's good to see because ten of wands requires sometimes to take time out. So please, in between this hard work, take your time out. Have a cup of coffee or have a good night's sleep. Definitely, because there's new ideas to horizon. Ace of wands, page of wands, king of wands. Wow. And above all, we have you here, chariot. 
you're the master of your talents. Don't forget that. And don't let your light be dimmed by someone else. Because you got it. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you next reading. Bye-bye.